Welcome or welcome back to Space Cowboy. We're back again with some more Starfield. And that is because alongside the update that dropped yesterday, which was the, well, not yesterday, the day before, the 1.8.88 update, which removed our asteroid bug pet friend, which was a shame, and also removed the loot chest bug, where you could quick save and then take as much loot as you possibly wanted. Both of those things were removed in that update, and it was a relatively small one. But alongside that, I didn't realize how active they actually are on Reddit, on the Bethesda Game Studios, uh, and there is loads and loads of stuff that they've posted on there, but mainly this alongside that update that dropped. Hey everyone, first we read all of your feedback here, and greatly appreciate it, and all the time and thought you put into the game. The small update was to mostly address the pet asteroid, so many asked about the following our last larger update. And we wanted to get that out before the holiday. So it does look like we're not going to be getting any more updates before the holiday season, which is a massive, massive shame. I thought we'd see potentially at least one more smaller update and then maybe something about what we could potentially see towards the start of 2024. But they have mentioned here some of the things that we will be seeing next year and it's very exciting. We've been hard at work on many of the issues that you've posted and expect an update early next year that will include a larger number of in progress quest fixes as well as FSR3 and XESS. Though we fixed several quest issues from occurring, in progress quest fixes are much harder to fix and we built a new system to correct those without having to roll back your save which is good so people can just continue on as they were without having to go back sometimes quite far some people have had to go um but hopefully that is something that will get resolved towards the start of 2024 now alongside that as i mentioned they have announced what we could get to see towards the start or throughout the year of 2024 we're also hard at work on many new features that you've asked for, from city maps to mod support to all new ways of traveling. Stay tuned. Now that to me says that we could see something pretty damn soon. Now I have covered a video before on some of the artwork and what we could have actually seen for Starfield vehicles. Now there are many ways that you can get around the in-game menus as they do dampen the uh, the experience a little bit but it is a massive game with so much to do and so many places to go so i do kind of understand the loading screens it doesn't really bother me obviously going through menus is a bit of a pain in the ass and takes the uh, the enjoyment away a little bit but there are small ways that you can go around it so actually having a vehicle that we could land on a planet and traverse an entire planet would be amazing there's nothing about that and the new ways of traveling could that be a vehicle or could that just be opening things up so we don't have to use the menus so much and just add to that immersion a little bit more? Hopefully it's a mix of the two. These updates will be rolling out with regular cadence of fixes and updates that we expect to have roughly every six weeks. If something can be done in smaller hotfixes in between, like the asteroid, and we feel it's safe, then we will get those out as well. Safe is the key here. We do take a lot of time to test even the smallest change in the game, and this large and dynamic. So that is brilliant. We could be seeing at least an update every six weeks. So that's brilliant news, and it does seem like they're going to be adding bigger features to the updates if they do go down that every six week route. Now, as they mentioned, having hotfixes, very important, and um, yes, they can be a bit of an issue and cause more problems than they solve. As if you've been following my original channel, um, we've covered a few games on there, which hotfixes have completely destroyed things on, especially some early access titles. But this is a big, big studio with many, many playtesters and many people checking and triple checking and quadruple checking. So hopefully things like that don't happen and we do see hotfixes for any major issues that do crop up. Now, they did mention towards the end that if they want some more info or they need some issues that they want to make people aware of, then do it on Reddit or their Discord. The links are both in the description down below, so definitely go and check them out. Very, very good to see that they are posting a lot in the Reddit. I can't believe I didn't notice this beforehand. Definitely uh, something I'll be checking out a little bit more. I don't really use Reddit very often at all. Um, I check Discord every now and then, but not too frequently. I'm not the greatest at um, social media, to be honest. I don't use it very often. Uh, when I do, it's normally just doom scrolling, which I try to avoid. So I do miss some important things, but I'm going to try and keep on top of that and, and get more news as and when it is available. 
So just a shorter video today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And hopefully it's helped and given you some info that you didn't already know. If it has, you know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for much more Starfield content. I've been Cowboy, you've been awesome, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.